Okay, so back to this move. This is back turn. This is back turn uh, two three. Uh, it's a high high string. It's natural combo. You know, it's. I don't think it's a big deal. You can sidestep it. So I don't know the use for this move yet. You know, it's high high. I don't. I don't know what use this move is really gonna have. But um, it. Let me see the frame data. It is a minus ten. Well, you can duck it, you know, the first hit, the first hit is minus 10, and the second hit is minus 10. So. And you cannot interrupt the string. You have to just duck it. And punish. Uh, that's about it for this move. I'm just going through her back turn moves real quick for you guys, because I didn't go over this yesterday. Uh... Okay, so this is back turn three. All right, so back turn three is a mid that uh, knocks down. It doesn't really seem like these moves are that useful. It seems like it's safe because she could turn around and block the jabs in time. So in this move, uh, so this move is safe. It's a safe mid from back turn. You know, it's it's not a big deal. It's you can sidestep it right. So this is like back turn. Uh, this is back turn three. So I'm just gonna make a note of it, just so I already like, cause we haven't. No, I don't think anybody has any real Kuni Mitsu experience. So I'm pretty much writing these things down so I don't get gimmicked out. But uh, I'm just making note of these moves. These are some good things to do. Just so you, you know, you don't get nutted out by a fucking random Kuni Mitsu and shit that you never fought. And then the dude just going ham on you, throwing out a whole, her whole move list on you. And you don't know what the fuck she's doing. So, this is actually pretty, this is pretty useful just to take note of these, uh, these moves. But, um, it's steppable. It's safe, but it's steppable. It gives a knockdown on hit. But it's not a big deal. You know, it's not... She doesn't get big damage from it, so you don't have to worry about this move. Uh, I'm gonna go to all right. The next couple of moves. She only seems to have three moves left uh, from back turn. So let's start neutral position. Okay, so let's see. Back turn one plus two. What's this? Oh. Okay, this is actually a pretty good move. This shit homes. I don't know. I don't. It's. I don't think it's like a. Tri I don't think it's like a official homie move because it's. If you look in the command list, it doesn't have the uh, the marker to, that tells you that it's a homie move. So, but it does. This move uh, does track 100% though. So solid mid though. Natural com. It's two hit natural combo. Uh, cannot be stepped. It's safe too. Wow, this is actually a pretty. This is a pretty good back turn move. Um, so it's back. So back turn one plus two is is uh, is mid mid and safe, and you can't step it. So this is a this is something out of our arsenal of back turn that probably do like that. You'll probably see Kuni Mitsu's use just because of the strength that it's it's mid mid. Natural combo, uh, you can't step it. So this is a move that Akuni Miss will probably use to try to keep you in that, keep you in one spot. Uh, let's see, back turn. No side step, and safe. So this is about, this is the most useful move. This is the most useful move I see out of back turn so far. Uh, let's see what else she has. So it's back turn three plus four. All right, what's this about? The fuck is this? This is an odd move. Wow, so she can go on the mids and shit with this. Even though all she has to do is freaking crouch under people's mids and shit, but wow, she went under this too. 
Alright, so this type of thing is something that you would just have to hit her low. And even that isn't working. So this apparently this shit just fucking See you can catch her you can catch her on startup, but uh once it's out, you have to find a move that's gonna hit her out of crouch. So this is this is like a pretty much an evasive move. Uh goes under mids. It's hard to hit her with some lows too. You have to see this type of this type of thing is kind of like that type of thing is kind of dangerous. This is type this this type of thing is kind of dangerous because it, like somebody could use this to try to get you to whiff. But um, from what I see though, I mean, you know, it can go under some mids, and it and and it can, it goes under some lows too. So this is just something you gotta watch out for. But uh, other than that. There's no moves. It, there's no moves from it. So you know, I don't think there's anything. There's not too much to worry about with this. I can see a Kuni missile using this, like maybe to come in the match, or use her other stance where she goes through the ground to come in the match. But other than that, I don't see. I don't really see much use for this until like I fight a Kuni missile, and then maybe you know the the player I fight has some type of use for it. But um, there's nothing really. There's nothing really crazy about it. Uh, let's see. What's this? Oh, that's a little low she got. Oh, this shit isn't even natural combo. Alright, so, this is back turn four. It's not, na it's not, it's not natural combo, though. It does track, though. And you can't interrupt you you can't interrupt it. You have to pretty much block the whole thing. But there's no reason like there's no reason to interrupt this move. There's no reason to interrupt this move because um it's 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 one notation. It that that that's back turn four. It's one notation. So even though it's two hits it's one notation, so it doesn't there's no reason to try to interrupt the move. But uh You can parry it, because what I'm noticing, I'm noticing that it's not launch punishable. I don't even think it's punishable. Because I'm just, I'm doing Wild Rising 4 right now, and Wild Rising 4 isn't even punishing the low. Oh, it's minus 10, because see, when I do a crouch jab, when I do a crouch jab, it punishes. So, this is actually a good, uh, this is a good low to take note of for you guys. Uh... You can you can parry you can parry the uh, you can parry the second hit. So this is a minus ten. It's it's a minus ten low. So the move I just showed uh, the move I just demonstrated for you guys is back turn four. Now back turn four is minus ten. Minus ten. It's not natural combo. And and since it's minus 10, most characters most characters don't really have uh most characters don't really have like a like a 10 a 10 frame while rising, you know? So, this is a, but this is a low that it benefits that benefits for you to just to just parry it. You're better off just parrying the second hit. And this low cannot be canceled, guys, because as you can see, if I can show you guys on the command list, that uh, back turn four is one. As you can see, it's one notation. So since yeah, I know I know Lee does. I'm just saying I'm just saying uh, most characters don't. I didn't say all characters. I just said most characters don't. But um, back turn back turn four is one notation. So it can't it can't be um. It can't be cancelled and it's two hits. So just so you guys know, you're better you you you're definitely better off <laughs> low parrying this low. Now the problem is 
if you get hit by the first if you get hit by the first low you can't parry so yeah you have no choice but to block it and just you know and just if you if your character has a good um if your character has like a, a good while rising a 10 frame while rising punish then you know then it, it's definitely helpful for you you know it's definitely useful in that predicament where like a, a blow like this because if you don't block it if you don't block it you know fucking you gotta you have no choice but to block the second hit and it's minus 10 which for most characters can't punish it so this low is pretty much a safe low for the most part but you can parry the second hit so after you block the first you have to parry the second hit so I'm just gonna show you guys one more time I'm just gonna show you guys one more time that you can parry the second hit as you guys can see and this low tracks you can you can't step this low so you you kind of have like no you have no option to really um you can't step it you know so you pretty much just have to um low parry it um some other things some other things I didn't go over were like her her low pokes uh I know she has like a few low pokes I have to actually try to look for them so actually I don't I personally I don't know the notation for them I know she has like the Yoshi Mitsu um down back 3-3 three, three. I know she has the, the Yoshi Mitsu down back 3-3 three, three. but uh other than that, I don't know what other low she has. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna go to command list real quick and just try to see uh, if she has any other lows. All right, so she has this standing down back four. So yeah, I didn't go over that. Okay, so she has down back four. Down back four. Let's see. I'll look. Let me see if I can find it in frame data. Uh, down back four. So down back four is it's a, it's a 17 frame low, so it's pretty fast. But the frame data says that it's minus 14. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out now and see how punishable it really is. And as you can see. Bob's while rising to one is um is 14 frames, and it says punish on your on the left hand side of the screen. So this is a definite push punish for the move. Um, I'm I'm gonna bring in Miguel just to make sure it's not like long like fifth minus 15 for a hop kick, and, and you guys can see that you know no punishment is coming up on the screen and shit. So it's only minus it's only minus 14. It's steppable though. You can just step it to the right. So it's weak to side step right, pretty much like all of her moves. This ain't no this ain't this ain't nothing new with this bitch. You know what I mean? With Kuni Mitsu, man, you can just side step you, you can side step right. Uh side step right minus fourteen. So if your character has a is has a good um has a good fourteen frame while rising it'll be really useful against that low um... let's see what else she got okay this is like this is how unblockable so i'm not really worried about that um... just looking for some more lows that she might have Okay, so she has like the little like Yoshi Mitsu. She has the Yoshi Mitsu down back three three to four. Uh like I said down three is another low of hers. Alright, I'll get to down three in a second. So you know down you know how Yoshi Mitsu do the down back three three uh four. Um
I'm trying to interrupt it with uh, Wild Rising 2-1, which is 14, but it definitely is just trading. But you completely beat this out with Wild Rising 4. And I know the low kicks by itself, the low kicks by itself are uh, like pretty punishable, like minus like 19 or something. But, uh... So you can get around the first hit, but the rest of them will track you. And you can't really... can't get up in time to sidestep the mid. But you can interrupt this, so it's not a really a big deal. You can interrupt it. Um... Let's see... So, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna just do the low... I'm gonna go to record mode because I, I know most you'll see missile players will just do the first two hits and then do while standing four and it'll be like pretty safe so let me see if it works the same for her uh, cuz in the demonstration in the uh, command list she does three kicks instead of two so I'm going to see now I'm gonna see now if you can interrupt if you can interrupt it like you can the three kicks. You can still interrupt it. So it's still interruptible. But um And then and the mid is safe. So you probably you're better off just inter you're better off just interrupting it. Cause you can't low parry it. So you're better off just interrupting it if you can. But um now to get to So this is down back uh down back three three four. So most people think about the down down three three uh string is that, you know, she can choose not to do the four and go for a couple more hits. So but you can block after the two, after two of them. So it's really not, you know, it's really not a big deal. See, you can, like, you can't even low parry through this, which is interesting. That's so, so you can really just hit her with a ground, uh, all you can do is really just hit her with a ground in mid attack because she falls to the ground too fast to really get anything else. Can't really, you can't really, you can't, I don't know, maybe some characters might have a move, see like yeah, some characters might have a better move to float her. I don't have, oh see I can do this, I can do um, down, I can do down 3, I can do down 3-4 to punish this. see what else I can do so it's still punishable you just need you just need to have a move that can pick her up or hits grounded cuz see I can't float her after this and you can't low parry it so it's 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 okay all she's gonna eat is like a ground attack that's all she's gonna really eat for that but um I'm gonna check I'm right now I'm just gonna look into her I think one more low which is down three see what down three is about for you guys because uh yesterday i touched i pretty much touched on everything yesterday i was just missing her back turn moves and um a few a few of her low pokes and that's it everything else i pretty much touched up on with this character so okay so she has like a slide i mean this isn't really i don't even think this shit is worth using to be honest with you as you can see it's linear as fuck So this is kind of like whatever. This low is not a big deal. Uh, see, it's pretty punishable from what I can see. So, to be honest, this this low, this down three, this down three low really isn't a big deal. I'll just make note of it though. Like down three, you can sidestep it right, just like the rest. Pretty much the rest of her freaking. 
the rest of a command list you know so you can you down down three you can sidestep it right uh, the frame data says that it's minus 18 and that it's minus two on hit so if you if you guys do get if you guys do get hit with it just uh you know just make just try to keep note that it's minus two on hit so she can she can't really follow up with anything if you if you strike with something fast a after she hits you with it so like if you know if you do like a uh you know if she hits you with it on hit you can do like a down forward one you can do down four you know you could you can do a generic down four so i mean to be honest this move is like this is like one of those lows you throw out once in a blue because it's pretty it's pretty bad there's no tracking uh... it's minus eighteen for a low that does only sixteen damage so it's really not no use for this this low but i'm just gonna take note of it just so i know what to do if i run into it so down three you sidestep right down three is weak to sidestep right and it's minus eighteen just so you guys know so but this pretty much covers kunimitsu um, you know if you guys do need if you guys do need to see the rest of the breakdown you can look at the archive and I broke down I pretty much broke down like everything about kunimitsu everything there is to know so you have a good anti and uh, you have a good anti kunimitsu uh, strategy so you guys can watch the archive um, I I am gonna, I am gonna, um, I am gonna upload it. I'm gonna upload the the R the breakdown to YouTube, so you guys can, you know, so you guys can just refer to it on YouTube, and so everybody can see it. It'll be a lot easier just to put it on YouTube. So, uh, you just give me some time to do that. It'll probably just take me like a day to do that or so. It probably shouldn't take long, but I have to chop up the video and whatnot. But uh, this pretty much wraps up Kuni Mitsu. I just wanted to cover this for you guys, this last bit of things. So what I covered today on this, just so you guys know, I covered her back turn moves and I covered her her low pokes, and that's that's all I covered because every I did everything else uh, yesterday. So um, that's about it for Kuni Mitsu. So what I'm gonna do now, just so I can, just so the archive can 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 change, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut the I'm gonna cut the stream and I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna turn it back on. So this one piece of video is separate from the rest of my stream. So when I upload it to YouTube, it'll be a lot easier. I don't have to do any chopping. I can just put this video directly on YouTube and call it a day. So um, 